shit joke time. Anyway, this guy walks into a pub. He's got his parrot in a cage. So he's looking around and he sees this other bloke with a bulldog. He thinks I can make a bit of money here. He says, oi, my parrot can chin your bulldog. He says, fuck off. He says, I'll bet you a hundred quid. He says, right, you're on. So he puts the bulldog in the cage with the parrot, covers it over, cage shakes a bit, lifts it off, and there's the bulldog ripped to shreds and the parrot's sitting there on its perch. Quick hundred quid. So he goes in the next night. The bloke's sitting there with three bulldogs. He says, oi, my parrot can chin all three of your bulldogs. He says, fuck off. He says, I'll bet you, 300 quid. Right, you're on. So he sticks these three bulldogs in a cage, covers the cage over, cage shakes a bit more, takes it off, and there it is. Three bulldogs ripped to shreds, and the parrot's sitting on its perch, like, now it's the matter. All the while, there's a bloke at the back of the bar observing all this, and he thinks, I'll bring my pet in tomorrow. So the third night comes. Guy walks into the bar with his parrot in its cage, and this guy walks in with a fucking lion. A lion. And he says, do you think your parrot could take on my lion? He says, any day. Go on then, thousand quid. He says, right, get your lion in there. Gets the lion in, covers it over, shakes a bit, shakes a bit more, shakes a bit more, but he notices his feathers fly and he gets a bit worried. Anyway, it all stops, he whips it off and there's the bird, the parrot's sitting there, completely no feathers, but on its perch and the lion's ripped to shreds. Suffice to say, he won his grand, picks up his money, walks out with his parrot and goes, the fuck happened to ye? The parrot says, hi, it's a lion, it's a big fucker, I had to take my coat off. <laughs>